In your Pacers watch now, did you see it? It was a decisive win on the road up in Milwaukee last night. Saw the Pacers headed home feeling good. First, let's get to that game. Indiana beat the Bucks 125 to 108. Put the smackdown on them. It's the Pacers' first playoff victory since 2018. Wish TV is the only Indianapolis TV station on the road with the Pacers. News 8's anchor Andrew Chernoff has reaction from the floor in Milwaukee. It was a big win for the Pacers here in Milwaukee last night, beating the Bucks by 17 points to even their series at a game apiece. Pascal Siakam, the star of the show for Indiana, finishing with a game-high 37 points. Overall, it was a complete 180 from that loss on Sunday to the Bucks. Everyone all smiles on the Pacers' side of things when this was over, including forward Aaron Neesmith, who I had a chance to go one-on-one -on -one with in an exclusive interview as soon as the game ended. We played with more force from the jump. We played a full 48 minutes. You know, I think we just played harder. They punched us out in game one, came out with fight in game two. How were you guys able to refocus? Uh, you know, we just learned from game one, you know, just took our, took our lumps, learned from it, and came out and played hard. One of the things I wanted to make sure, you know, after that game was just to, you know, everyone to just, you know, relax. And, and knowing that, you know, like, we way better than what we showed. So I thought we responded well. Um, and then, like, today, uh, I just thought that from the, from the beginning, our intensity was better. Did a lot of better things tonight. We're more consistent. Um, play with more force. Um, you know, play with more attitude. And uh, there were some tough stretches in the game. Um, I like the way we kept our poise and, and our aggression. Um, and we kept attacking. You know, obviously it's my second playoff game, but they always say, like, playoffs don't start till you know, series don't start till there's a road win. So we got that, so I guess it started. The victory was the Pacers' first playoff win since 2018. And as a result... Indiana now has home court advantage the rest of the series beginning on Friday in Gainbridge Fieldhouse in a game that will tip off at 5.30. In Milwaukee, Andrew Chernoff, Wish TV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates. The game was a homecoming for Tyrese Halliburton, but he says the win was tainted by a Bucks fan. Listen to this. Halliburton grew up in Oshkosh, which is about 90 minutes from Milwaukee. After last night's game, he revealed that his younger brother, he says, had an encounter with a Bucks fan during the game on Sunday. I mean, my fam came out, showed love, <laughs> uh, and uh, it's been good to have them here. You know, this has been, my little brother in the stands the other day was, um, you know, called the N-word, and so, like, it was important for us as a family, like, to um, just address that, and, and that was important for us to talk about because that just didn't, you know, I didn't sit right with anybody in our, uh, you know, in our family. And so um, it's just been important to have my family here right now. And um, my little brother's handled that the right way. And Tough situation there. The Bucks were asked about the incident. A team spokesperson says it started with some guests who were not sitting in their correct seat. The team statement goes on to say, quote, the guest services representative asked the group to move one section over to their correct seats. Then they say one of the individuals in that group claimed to the representative that a person sitting in front of him had used a derogatory term toward him. The accused person denied that accusation. The group moved to their correct seats and no further incident was reported.